Hello, my name is Dai Wu, and this is the title of our InterSpeech 2020 paper, BQBC Plus, One Shot Voice Conversion by Vector Organization and Unit Architecture. And this is our outline. I will first introduce what is voice conversion and introduce some basic idea or basic framework of voice conversion. And then I will introduce some related work. And next, I will introduce our proposed approach BQBC Plus, and then is the experiment details and the experiment result. In the final, I will play our demo. Voice conversion means we want to change the speaker identity or accents of original utterance while preserving the content information. Some general applications like customization of text to speech or personalized human computer interface and so on. In general, we divide the VC system into parallel data and unparalleled data. The property of parallel data means the speakers in the dataset says the same set of the sentence. This kind of dataset is very hard to collect. However, it is very easy for model training. On the other hand, unparalleled data means that we don't have any collection on what speaker should set. There are generally two types of methods to tackle the unpaired data voice conversion, direct transform and feature disentangle. We list some papers of direct transform. And in this talk, I will focus on the feature disentangle based model. The basic idea of feature disentangle based model is you want to separate the original utterance into contain embedded and speaker embedded. And we need a decoder which can combine these two embedding and revert back to the original audio. If we have these three components, contain embedding, speaking embedding, and decoder, then voice conversion is fulfilled. We can just fit the contain embedding of the author of source speaker and the speaker embedding of the author of target speaker into the decoder, then the voice conversion is fulfilled. However, one of the problems of feature disentangle based model is how can we make one encoder for content and one encoder for speaker? There are various methods. For content embedding, we can use internalization or vector organization or pre-chain ASI system. And for speaker embedding, we can use pre-chain speaker verification model like I vector, X vector, or D vector. Or we can use adaptive incentivization, which is first using the image style transfer power. In our previous work, we find that incentivization plus vector quantization can eliminate speaker information from content embedding. Second, we found that speaker embedding can be represented by the difference between content before and content after vector. In details, if V is the output of encoder, then our content embedding C is V passing through internalization and vector organization. Our speaker embedding S is the difference between V and C and mean over the time. This architecture can fulfill voice conversion. However, the sound quality of converted utterance seems not good. We think this is a side effect of vector organization. Vector quantization can well separate the speaker and content information. However, it declines the audio quality. This also means that the decoder cannot reconstruct the original audio well. One straightforward solution is to increase the number of codes. However, this leaks the speaker information into the content embedding. So there is a trade-off between the information bottleneck and the reconstruction error. So this is the main motivation of this work. We want to resolve the problem by architecture design. I will introduce some related work which is used in our architecture. First, I will introduce the unit architecture. The major design of unit architecture is ski condition module. Ski condition is first used in the image segmentation problem. It passed the output of encoder through the corresponding decoder input. It wants to capture both the fine grain and global information of the image. 
So we hope that this architecture maybe can help us improve the audio quality. Second, we want to introduce the progressive going architecture. The basic idea of this architecture is we generate the low resolution image first and the generation of high resolution image is based on the low resolution one. For example, if we want to generate the real image, we first generate a 4x4 four four pixel image and then generate by 8x8 image. The generation of 8x8 image is based on the 4x4 four four, and so on. This architecture is also very useful in the audio sensors. It is shown in MailNet and the scene voice generation. So next is our proposed approach. Here we just specify our notation. Here VQ done conversion is just same with the encoder of VQVC, which comprises of the conversion base encoder, internalization, and vector quantization. And it gets the content embedding as VQ embedding, which is the same as the VQ countdown production. And in our this approach, we enlarge our model architecture and make the whole model get deeper. And then add the split commission from each encoder and corresponding encoder. Third, we add progressing going architecture at the output of the decoder layer. One of the difference between our model and the original progressing going architecture is progressive going architecture train the different resolution image progressively. However, in our architecture, we train them together. Because we use the progressive going architecture, so we should expand the time and frequency channel using the interpolation and concatenation. So this is the architecture of our visual convolution model. So we do the experiment using VTDK Cobus, which comprise of 109 speakers and there are 400 centers for each speaker. And there are 44 hours in total. We randomly select 20 speakers as our testing dataset, and others are our training dataset. The first experiment we want to show is the disentangle performance. We trained a speaker discriminator on content embedding and speaker embedding using our testing dataset, which is comprised of 20 speakers. For content embedding, because we hope there is no speaker information in content embedding, so the accuracy of speaker discriminator lower is better. On the other hand, the accuracy of speaker embedding higher is better. Here is our experiment result. I will first specify some notations. Here Q32 means the code size in VQ layer is 32. I only means that there is no vector quantization layer. We find that if we enlarge the code size, the one load here is the reconstruction error decrease. This means that if we use more code, then the model can reconstruct the mill spectral grain better. However, if we use the more code, the disentangled performance also decreases. There are only 20% for Q32 in C0, is the first skip connection layer, and there are about 35% speaker accuracy for Q256. We also find that if the model is go deeper, then the speaker verification accuracy will also be lower. Here, the speaker verification accuracy of C0 for IA model is 70%. This means that this model cannot do the voice conversion. The only thing it can do is the reconstruction. Next is the subjective evaluation. We compared our model with Joe and Otto VC. Here, blue bars means the subject prefer the result of our model, and the red bar means subject prefer the result of the, the other one. Here, U means the voice conversion result of the unseen speaker. S means the voice conversion result of the seen speaker in the chain. We compared our model with the other one for um, both natures and similarity. And we show that our model performs better on this both one and on both unseen and seen 
voice conversion test. So this is our demo. This is a source speaker. It was not hard to feel some sympathy for Baxter. This is a target speaker. The whole thing was just unreal. And this is the result conversion. It was not hard to feel some sympathy for Baxter. And this is the source speaker. Washington is consumed by the crisis. We are really impressed. Washington is consumed by the crisis. The result here is using the mail gun to convert the mail spectrogram back to the waveform. So this is our conclusion. Unit and progressive going architecture can improve the audio quality. Second, factorization can necessary to leverage the unit architecture in voice conversion tests. Thank you very much.